Hi there, I'm going to show you a very brief overview of how to use the Falling Leaves Action and Overlay Set in Photoshop. And this is Photoshop CC, but it works just the same in Photoshop CS2 through CS6. So I'm going to go to my Action Panel, and know that the leaves are not something you install. You don't have to install the leaves. They're just going to hang out wherever you saved your download folder, your product folder. And then to place the leaves, you click, open up your Falling Leaves action set. Okay, see that? I'll click it open. And then I'm going to click on Place Leaves and hit Play. Now it's going to ask me to navigate to where I have the leaves. And I'm going to go to that. And then you can just choose. Now there is a catalog, so if you want to have that open and kind of look through and you can see which ones you want. But I find random works. So, okay, I like that one. I'll pick that one. I'll place it. Now it comes here and you can move it. It's going to be really large. We're going to reduce it down. Small, move it like this. And then I can choose more. Okay, I can just keep uh, hitting play. And I'll just choose a different one. Okay, maybe that one. Just pull it down. I'm just clicking and, and dragging down. And when you come out, I can just click and rotate it. See the little arrows? Click and rotate it. Make it a little smaller. So you do that. And with a variety of different leaves. If you find a few leaves you really like and you want to just duplicate those there, then just click on duplicate. And I keep going up to that, and I'm sorry, I don't know why. It's just it's in my on my radar here. So I duplicated that one and now I'm going to move it. So I'm going to click play. I want to move that one. Click on a corner. You want to click on a corner then click and drag out and then I can just turn it and rotate it. There we go. Different things you can do with it and hit the checkbox up here to commit it. So there's different things you can do, and, and the sky's the limit, you can play with it, but here we've just got three. We can add things like an inner glow or a shadow, and whatever layer you're on, it's real important you click the layer so it knows what, um, what you want to do, basically. So you need to be on the layer you want to manipulate. We can add a shadow. Um, we can blur it a little bit. And you can change how much. We do recommend that you blur them because it helps kind of just blend in to the image. Now, and we click on Move Rotate. I'm just going to click. Oops. I'll come down to this one. And there we are. And I'll just do a slight blur. On that one too. And you can change the radius to make it blur a little bit more. And we might want to leave that one the way it is. But I'm going to come down here and click on it. Maybe I'm just going to add a little shadow. There we go. See, I kind of added that. There's other things you can do, like change leaf color. And when you do that, you just click play. And it gives you a little message. And basically, it says click into this color box to change the color you want it to be. So I can double click. And it's going to attach to whatever layer you were on. So it's very important that you're on the layer. And then... You know, if we want it to be green, who knows? Blue, um, come down here. So make it darker. And often you're going to use a yellow or a brown or orange, things like that. So if you want it to blend in a little bit more, because maybe the, you like the leaf shape but not the color, then you can change the color and then you can also lower the layer opacity of that particular one. Let's say I like that, what it was. Uh, there are also some action creative actions for different looks so rich chestnut and really nice look there to that and then there's a fix reds uh, red cast and you need to know how to use a brush and reveal or conceal on different areas what's neat too is that here down at the bottom there's a before and after action so we can click there's before and there's after. And I know my image is, uh, my action panel is in the way a little bit. 
We can add some vignettes. We can ungroup. We can delete hidden layers. Different things you can do. Um, we can paint on light, paint on dark, uh, paint on fall colors. Okay, if you play that, then if you have any area that's really green, like bushes or trees, you'd use a white brush because we have a black mask here, and you'd use a white brush to reveal it. Now it's all we don't have any green here, so it's not an issue. But um, we'll come up here to there we go to that and. Uh, we can also merge. I wanted to say that we can merge the leaves. If you don't want to blur them individually, then you can blur them all at once. So here we have them, and I'm just going to play the action and show you. It gives a little message to highlight the layers. So I stopped it. I'm gonna highlight my layers, and then I'm gonna come back up here and merge it. So it merged, it's going to merge them all to one, and so now I can blur them all at once. So I could do a slight blur or a medium blur, series blur. Series blur is great for when you want to make it almost like the aperture is blurred it out and you just kind of, you know the leaf is falling but there's no detail left to it. And that's what you can do. But a lot of fun, fun actions here and I, I think it's very creative and it can make a ho-hum picture really um, interesting. And I can't wait to see what everybody does with their action set.